YouTubers, this is Zepify doing a, a kind of new episode of Zepicraft. Um, I'm kind of just like playing in one of my friend's servers. Uh, this is like my house I built, like a tree house kind of thing. Um, I've got my little skeleton horse known as Kelfane. I've got my nether portal. I've got, oh there's a bit of zombie flesh, I don't want that. There's my mine, it's pretty deep, like, it took me probably two days or something, and it's still not done. I don't think I'm deep enough in it for the diamonds yet, even though I have a diamond sword. The only reason I have this is because one of my mates gave me it. Um, yeah, I'm just like chatting to one of the people here. There's just a couple of people on here, like, not like in a major amount, but... In nether. Because right now I'm just kind of going to show you what I've been building recently. Because um, I've been trying to explore the nether, so I've been trying to like find, build my own like pathway so that I don't get lost or anything like that. Because the nether is excessive. I mean, extensive. Oh, it's close to now. I know things may look a bit odd, like especially this nether wall, because it looks like it's moving. I'm not sure it's because of um, the skin I've got on my world. Where it makes it look cartoonish. This took me a very long time to build this stairs, like, I died so many times. Because I couldn't really see where I was going. And because normally, there's a, oh, there's a zombie pigman attacking something. Oh, uh, I hope they don't attack me, like, by accident. There's E-drop over there. Take all this. Because the thing about zombie pigmen is, you don't, they don't attack you if you don't attack them, but if for instance you attack them, they will attack you. And if you're anywhere close to other players and they attack them, then the, all the zombie pigmen will basically attack all the players. Which can be pretty annoying sometimes. Let's see, where's my pickaxe? There we are. So dig some dig. The thing about netherrock is if you're using your hands or something to break it, it won't give you the pieces, but you have to have a pickaxe to um, basically get it. I think the main reason for that is most of the time when people actually have nether portals, um, by the time they have a nether portal, the, the game expects them to have basically got a pickaxe or something. But, you know if you're like in a server or something, most of the time you don't really have to worry about that kind of stuff because you're already like got all your items and stuff out. Or you just got nice enough people in the server to help you out and stuff out. Well not eDrop was actually doing. Uh if they were exploring or if they were just like trying to pick a fight with some zombie pigmen for no reason. It kinda looks like the zombie pigmen have calmed down a little bit. Ooh bit of flint there. Oh, there's a new recipe. Res oh, recipe for dynamite. Nice. Wonder where they went. Oh well. It looks like they're using my pathway, which is kind of cool. Like they found it on their own, or they were just like, "Where are all these torches going?" Um. Yeah. So I haven't really done much in the game yet. Like I haven't found diamonds, so that's like a main thing I'm trying to do right now. There's my little character, how he looks like in this weird armor set. But you gotta think that just changing the skin of a world changes the way everything looks. Like I like the taskbar that you have in this kind of skin. Just cause I think it makes all the items and stuff look a little bit nicer. And um, yeah. Oh, go away phone. I'm not sure if my mic picked that, yeah, picked that up, but my annoying phone just went off. 
let's see, number seven or eight. Let's see. I'm not sure if I'm gonna come out anywhere like in this. Hopefully I do, but oh I hear a ghast, that's not good. Like the amount of times I got attacked by ghasts and stuff when I was trying to build this. I don't know why I like building like in three pieces kind of thing. Um, I just think it gives you more room if you need to get out of the area quickly. Like apart from having two apart. I know like not much is happening in this episode, like it's just me digging, but hopefully I come across something. Because it sounds like I'm close to enemies, but you never can tell, like you've been rocking your pickaxe through all these bits of stuff or whatever. And you come across some really cool stuff sometimes. Like right now, right now I'm trying to look for a dungeon, probably diamonds. I'm not sure if you find diamonds in the nether or not. But you know, it's kind of all about adventure and just finding stuff. And about, oh, I just need to light this up again, just because it's gone very dark again. Have I got any coal on me? Yeah, I have. Uh, I always keep coal and stuff with me just in case I need them in this kind of situation. One thing I found out the hard way is you do never, and I mean never, put a bed in the nether. Because it will immediately, spontaneously combust, and that's just something you don't want to happen. Oh, it looks like I need a new pickaxe, so if you think I've got a spare, even though it's just a cobblestone pickaxe, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Am I going to come out anywhere soon, or... I'm not sure if it's because I'm just digging forward or if I'm not digging like sideways or anything. I'm just going to see if I can dig anything this way. Let's see if anything can get anywhere. Nope, that just looks about the same. Actually, I'll just try a few more and see if I can find anything this way. Oh, my pickaxe broke. Good thing I was spare. Yeah, that gas sounds quite quick and close, but I can't really see where it's going to be. Yeah, there's nothing down that way. I'm really digging this weirdly. Like, I'm bringing, I'm digging so quickly, I'm making holes in the ground, which I don't want appearing. Because if, for instance, I'm up in the air or something like that, I don't really want to fall like a thousand feet and then fall back to my house. Because that wouldn't be helpful. Hopefully I'll find something in this episode, just because I don't want this episode just me digging for like a couple of minutes or something without finding anything. Because that would be so pointless. Like I'm going to continue doing Pokemon Insurgents. Oh god, love it, love it, love it, love it. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh god, that's a lot of lava. But it means I'm getting close to something, I guess. Hmm, how to block that lava off? Uh, I need to block it off, but the thing is, I don't know. Actually, I'll just cut through this way and see if I can find anything this way. Because it's kind of like a cool way of, like, what's the word? Lighten up the area. Oh, I'm not doing what I want to do. Yeah, cut it this way so I have more room. Get out of the way if I need to. Like, with that lava I just accidentally spilled into my cavern. I don't really th sound like I'm close to anything now. Like, I guess the gas is in front of me. Not the other direction. I think I'm either really close to volcano or just like a lava stream. Which I don't want to really be with both. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, I think I'm going to get out of the mine of this area anyway. For now, I'm just go back. Wow, I cut through quick, quick, quite quickly. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum, ba -da -ba -ba. What are all these zombie pigmen are looking at? Let's explore out this way and see if I can find anything. I like how some of the zombie pigmen have gold swords for no reason. It's like, oh god, this stuff looks weird. 
What is this? Let's see. Uh, did I pick it up? No, I didn't. Wait, I have to dig it out a little bit more. Yeah. Why aren't you picking up? Did I pick it up that time? Oh yeah. Soul sand. I'm not sure what you do with soul sand. If anyone knows, can you put it in the comments below or something like that? Whoa, that's a long way down. Anything over this way? Some glowstone. Oh, what's that? That looks like something that could be a little bit useful. Why is it I'm walking on the soul sand? It makes me slow. Oh, there's some. I think that's some obsidian, maybe. Oh, what is that? Looks like someone's built something here. Wait, is this a dungeon? Oh my god, it is. It's a terrible fortress. Fortress. Wow, this place is cool. Put some lights up so I can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah. So I have a very bad feeling there might be a lot of mobs and stuff in here. I don't know why they call them mobs, like, I think they're just short for monsters or something. Ooh, there's a lot of zombie pigmen in here. Nope, don't want to go down there. Oh god, gotta do this. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 Oh, damn it. And I'm gonna burn to death. Because I can't get out of this lava. Yep. Oh, they, they've already found this nether fortress. Yep. I guess. I'm dead then. Yep. Back to my house. I like how when you sometimes respawn this surface and area, it doesn't actually like respawn with the area. So it just kind of appears into shot. Like, that's just gone, that. Uh. Nah, I'm fine. Fort to my house. I think it's just me and I drop on the server right now. Um, I guess everyone else is just like doing their own thing. Like, um, I kind of like the area that I was given to walk around in. I mean, and create stuff. I'm not sure I can ride Kelf. Yeah, I can ride Kelf. Yeah. I can ride it. But the only problem is, I'm not sure I want it dead or anything, because it took me a really hard time to get him. And I don't really want to kill him. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I think I'm going to do a little bit more exploring. And teleport. This place is so cool. What is that? Oh, yeah, the mushrooms. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I wish I had an emeralds because I could probably trade with this guy. I think. Yeah, I'll give. Oh, give me paper if I give him emeralds. See if I can go any further down here. Ooh, it looks like someone's been trying to build something over it. Either that or it's just like... Oh, it's my path! I've just realised it goes this far out. I never realised it was that close. Like, it kind of does like a 180. No wonder I didn't realise it was this... Oh my god, are those... Cinder dudes, or whatever they're called. I think I need, you get blaze rods or something from them if you beat them up. I kind of want to do that, but the thing is, I've never fought one of these guys before, so I'm not sure how easily I would be defeat, defeated by them. Oh, I'm being attacked. Oh, no, 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 no. Put that there so I don't get attacked anymore. I just gotta be careful that I don't get like attacked by it. 
Because I can only be the one doing the attacking, not the other way around. Oh god, that's it. Oh god, go away. Gotta run. Gotta run away. Oh, that's a cowardly thing to do, but I don't want to get attacked right now. Oh god, I can't see what I'm doing. Right in the door. Oh, they're trying to attack me through the wall now. This place is so dark. Need some more torches. give me an idea of where I am, because this place is quite dark. This is just like a dead end. Oh, there's, there's a few ghasts there. Don't want to go that way. Wow, oh, this place is big. Anything down here? Nope, there's still a dead end. Oh no, I'm stuck. No, don't want to do that. Yeah, that's right. Are these stairs or what? Oh, dead end. This place is annoying. Wrong way. Wrong button. Come on. Looks like I've been this way. At least I know not to get lost. Let's see. I wonder if you can actually just build a house in the nether and just like live there or like. I'm stuck in this house now. Oh, there we go. Guess not. I'm gonna try and get over here. Let's see. Yeah, I know I can do this. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Oh god, I've just been hunted off. That is not helpful. Oh well, I guess I'll end this episode here. If you like this, um, I'll continue it, but if you want me to make my own like area or something, I don't know. You can always like comment in the comments below or whatever. I guess I'll end this then. Zerpify out.